Hey guys, welcome back to the series of Django. As we are doing the hospital management system using the Django framework, we have done with user registration and sign up page. In this tutorial, we are doing the login page for the users. So let's get started. All right, we have already created the views and URL paths for the login page and now we just need to write the logic. So as we have discussed in the previous video, to get the data from the form and send them to database, there are some conditions to be applied. The first one is the method type for the form should be the post and the second one is to protect the data from attacks after submit, we should have the CSRF token and the third one is every input tag must have a name attribute. So to make the user login, first we need to import some functions that is from django.contrib.auth space import login comma authenticate. These are the two methods we need to make the user login successfully. And now let's update our view. So to make the user login, the user enters his credentials in the login page and we need to get them and search for the user in the database and make the login. But from which model we need to search the user, either patient model or the user's model. So the answer is user model because we don't directly search the rows in the patient model and also we did not save the password in the patient model. So we should get the rows from the user model. For that we have a function that is authenticate which takes three parameters that is request, username and password. So for that, let's first enter the request type that is uh, if space request.method is equal to equal to post. And now we need to get the email from the form that is uh, u is equal to request.post of email and also the password p is equal to request.post of password and now I will authenticate with these details for that user is equal to authenticate of request comma username is equal to u and password is equal to p the statement searches for the rows in the user model and saves them in the variable user and now we need to log in for the user for that I'll take a try accept method and we need to confirm whether the user is present or not. For that, I'll say if space user is not none. That means if there is any value in the user variable, then I need to log in with the values. So for that, I'll say login of request comma user. And now there is a point you should remember that is uh, there are roles like patient, doctor and receptionist. How can you differentiate the user is patient or doctor or whatever? So for that we have created the group. According to the group of user, we will redirect them to the required pages. So for that first we need to get the group of the user. So for that I'll say g is equal to request.user.groups.all and braces of 0.name. We are getting the group name of the user from the list. And now I'll say if G is equal to equal to patient. That is if the user belongs to the patient group, then for now I'll return HTTP response to check whether it is working well. So for that first we need to import the HTTP response. So I'll say from django.http import HTTP response. And now I'll come down and say return HTTP response of patient logged in successfully. In the except, I'll print the error in command prompt. For that, I'll say print of E. So we have got the details entered in the form and search the user in the user model and logged in with the user. And according to the user group, we are giving the HTTP response. And if there is no user, then it will get out of this if function 
and goes to the accept. Prints the error in the command prompt and as usual goes to the login page. Save the file and let's go and login with the patient account. So for that start your server, open your project in the browser and go to the login page. Login with the credentials. So as you can see it gives that patient logged in successfully. You can also create a home page for the patient and you can render the page after you have logged in. That is you must enter. Let me put this in comments. So I'll say written render of request comma. Let's suppose the template be doctor home dot html. So if you write this template, then it will redirect to this page. So that's it for now. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for instant notifications from my channel. Thanks for watching.